Apple just announced the M22 Pro Mac Mini lineup, $100 less starting price, but don't be fooled and don't get the cheapest Mac Mini. The base N2 Mac Mini is starting at $599, which is $100 less than last couple of years N2 Mac Mini, which was a pretty powerful Mac with the transition to Apple Silicon, but has some limitation as well. In my opinion, you should get the 512 SSD upgrade for two reasons. First, the N2 Max that we already saw, the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro had some really, really big problems with the SSD. The 256 models had a slower SSD, meaning that when making a real intensive task and for a long period of time, they started to use the swap storage when they ended up to RAM and transform in a slowdown of the overall performance. And second, because macOS uses a lot of storage and I found myself having a big portion of the SSD used by macOS and I wasn't able to delete that. It was just another voice and I couldn't delete that. And this is a big problem. So in my opinion, 256 gigs isn't enough. The eight gigs of the M1 Mac mini were enough for making one or two heavy program at the same time so in my opinion a gigs should be enough as well but if you use but if you like to use google chrome and many other programs open at the same time I suggest you to get 200 dollars a grade to get 16 gigs well for this you get 999 dollars which is still great value of course the 599 model is just a best buy it will definitely the easiest one to recommend but don't be fooled and don't get them get this 999 instead so this wraps up for today be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and to mac mini videos should you switch from the mac studio well watch my other video where i answer this question as always stay tuned on shades of tech ciao